In Creo Parametric, you can use the View Manager to manage the visibility of different entities in your model. In Assembly Mode, you can access the View Manager right from the Model tab, and it's always available in the In Graphics toolbar. Let me click on it, and here is the View Manager in Assembly Mode. I have made previous videos on Simplified Reps, Explode States, Saved Views, Style States, Cross Sections, Appearance States, and Combined States, and you get to those from the All tab. I have not covered layer states, and in the interest of completion, I will make some videos on layer states, and I'll do some update videos on layers. But in this video, I want to talk about one of the peculiarities about using layer states in assembly mode. Let me close out of the view manager. I will click on the view tab, and then I can access my layer tree. You can also get to it from the layer tree icon in your model tree. And on my computer, I have my layer tree set up to open up in its own free floating window. The primary use of layers in parts assemblies and drawings is for managing visibility, especially screen clutter. In my assembly, I have my datum planes visible and I want to turn a bunch of them off as well as turn off the visibility of some of the different components. Let me go to my default datums folder here in the layer tree and let me see, there are a bunch of layers that I don't, do not want to see. Let me select them using the control key. So I wanna turn off all of these datum planes. I have some additional layers created at the top level of the layer tree for some different components. And I want to turn off their visibility as well. So I will select those. And then I can hold down the right mouse button. And in the menu that opens up, I can choose to hide all those different entities. And when the screen repaints, I have some of the gears visible and some other different components and only three of the datum planes. And I realized that it would be very convenient for me to access this combination of layer visibility later on. So you can save that as a layer state. Let me close my layer tree and I'll go back to my manage view icons, which is also available on the view tab. And then we can go to the layers tab and then you can click on the new button to create a layer state, which will capture the visibility settings for all the different layers as I have them. So for the name of this one, let me call this gears and then hit the enter key. So I've made my layer state. I will click the close button to get out of there just to show you that in the lower left hand corner of the graphics area, you will get information about your layer state. And then I decide, you know what? I wanna turn on the display of everything. I wanna see everything right now. So let me go to my layer tree and I'll select the top node and then right mouse click and choose show. And then let's repaint the screen. You can also do that with control R. Now everything is visible and I decide that hey, it might be convenient for me to have a layer state for that as well. So let me close the layer tree and go back to my view manager. And you'll notice that gears now has a plus sign in parentheses. In other words, I made visibility changes and I can save those visibility changes in this layer state, or I could create a brand new layer state. When I click on new, I'm going to get a warning. Do I wanna save the modified gears first? No, I don't. In this particular situation, I wanna leave gears as it is so I can use that combination of layer visibility later on. I will choose the no button. And now for this one, I'm going to call this all visible and then hit the enter key when I'm done typing the name. And so this is fine and everything. I've got two different layer states and I decide that I wanna go back to gears. So I will double click on it and there's a whole lot more stuff visible now than before. If you remember when I first set up my layer state called gears, I only had three datum planes visible. They were the 
top level default datum planes for the top level assembly that I have open. But now I have a whole bunch more stuff visible. What the heck happened with this layer state? Well, this is one of the peculiarities about layer states in assembly mode. Let me close out of the view manager and go back to my layer tree. Layer states only manage the visibility of your top level of your layers only. In this case, all the different layers underneath default datums, they were unaffected by that. If you go to the settings icon, you have your tree options. And by default, all submodel layers are visible. I'm going to choose no submodel layers. These are the different layers that are going to be affected by your layer states only by default. In other words, these are the ones from the top level assembly. And again, let me go back to the settings and make all the different sub model layers visible. If you want to control the visibility of your different sub model layers in a layer state, you've got to change a different setting. You have to go to the settings again, and it is this one here. Save status in submodels. And this is the default option. This is probably what you're used to when you change the visibility of a layer in a component in an assembly and you click on the save status button. It is going to save the changes to that visibility in the subassembly or the component part itself, not at the top level. You can turn that off with this particular option, and this is what you will need to do if you want to use layer states to control the visibility at the top level. But there's another wrinkle on top of that. So here I've changed, save status in submodels. Let me then close my layer tree, and let me close this particular model and I will erase not displayed so that all the different changes that I made will not be stored in that model. Now from this point forward, now that I've made that setting change, I will be able to create a layer state. And I'll say that with an asterisk because there will be another wrinkle. So anyhow, let me reload that assembly. I'll just go to my list of recently used files. Here it is like I was before. Let me go to my layer tree. I'll use the model tree icon to get to it. And let me expand my default datums layer. And so once again, I will hide a bunch of the different sub model layers and I will hide some of the layers at the top level. Let me right mouse click and hold and choose hide and then repaint the screen. And so there I have it. I've got a bunch of different parts like the gears visible and the three top level default datum planes. Let me close the layer tree. I will go to my view manager. I'm back on the layers tab. Let me click new and I'll give the same name as before. Let me call it gears and hit the enter key. So I've saved this one. Just like before, let me close out and go back to my layers. And I'm going to make everything visible, just like before. Let me click on the show button. Let me repaint the screen. Tons of clutter. For some reason, I decide that I want to save this as well. Let me go back to the view manager. Here we can see that gears has the plus sign again. Let me click the new button. No, I do not want to update my layer state called gears. And once again, I will call this all visible. Hit the enter key. And so, yeah. This is the same thing I did before. And now let me change back to my gears layer state. Oh wait, there's still some stuff that is visible that wasn't visible before. All right, here's the reason for that. Let me close out. When I went into my layers before, I just turned off the visibility of some layers manual, but that didn't affect any of the ones that I didn't manually change. So in this particular situation, let me select a few of my layers for my planes. Let me also select these ones as well. Again, I'm selecting everything except the top level assembly. And I will right mouse click and hide. 
And then let's close. Let me repaint the screen so we have what we have before. Let me go to my view manager icon. Gears has been modified. I will right mouse click on it. And let's see, let's hit the save button and I'll save it under the same name. So now Gears remembers what datum planes are visible, just the top level default datum planes and a bunch of different components. Let me go to all visible. So now we're tons of clutter. This time when I go back to my Gears layer state, hey, it's the way that I want it to look. So again, layer states and assemblies are a bit complicated. And it's a big reason why I have shied away from using them for the past 10 years. There's another reason, but that is water under the bridge. No reason to go into it. So again, if you want to use layer states in assemblies, you probably are going to want to go to your layer tree settings and turn off the option for save status in submodels if you want to manipulate layers in components and control them in the layer state. And also don't forget that you're gonna to have to go back and change the visibility of a bunch of other different items explicitly because you need to do that. That's just the way that they work. Anyhow, I hope this helps when you are working with layer states and assemblies.